Well, the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season isn't quite over, but the tropics are finally beginning to calm. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby breaks down this year's active hurricane season and what to expect as we head into November. Yeah, thanks, Bob. November is definitely a quieter month, and we're seeing that. We're not seeing any tropical activity in the Atlantic Basin for the first time since August 26. So it's been a, a long time where we've seen a lot of storms. And as we head into November, we're getting into a much more quiet time of the year. We see we peak at the end of September, early October, and then November, you can see it goes way down. But we can still see storms in November, and we have in the past. Over the last 23 years, this goes from 20. 2000 to 2023, we've seen a total of 18 hurricanes, not just tropical storms, but just hurricanes in the month of November. So they can happen. And we've actually seen a couple major hurricanes that occurred in impacted parts of Florida just a couple of years ago, actually. But compare that to September, it's a big difference. In the month of September since 2000, we've seen 99 storms. So it's definitely a much more quiet period as we head into November. As far as what this season has brought so far, well, it's been above average. We've seen 15 named storms. Our average is 14. We've seen 10 hurricanes. Our average is seven and four major hurricanes, which is one above the average. As far as the preseason forecast from the National Hurricane Center from NOAA, well, we're still a little short of the 17 to 24, but like I showed you, we can see tropical storms or hurricanes in the month of November. So we're going to keep a really close eye on that. Back to you.